Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Kira, and I'm not gonna lie, I have not been in the city as of yet. I've been in this builder trying to find these bills, and today I have a popper bill that I think y'all would like. So this here is for all my popper players, okay? As y'all know, I'm a rec player, so until we figure out what's the best height for the rec, which I think will be about seven foot, this bill will be better for park unless you have a squad you can play with. Again, I'm not saying it will do bad in the rec, I'm just saying it's perfect for park. Now, before I get into the video, make sure you drop a like for your girl. You know I appreciate it. Subscribe if you are new, or even if you keep coming back, obviously you like something you see and turn on post notifications. So I spent three, maybe four hours in this builder and I got so stressed out, I left it alone for a while and I came up with the perfect build just for me, of course. Now make sure you guys adjust the attributes to your play style. This is just a template. Also, let me know down in the comments how you guys are liking the game so far if you have it. So let's get right into the video. Okay, y'all, so in the intro, I did tell you guys that this is a park type of build. So for position, I'm on power forward, height 6'8", weight 240 pounds, wingspan 7'5". Now, if you guys have seen a lot of the other content creators and their streams and their gameplay, you know that post scores are super OP. So you're probably thinking, is the height 6'8", too small? No, not for the park. You know, it's not going to be that many post scores you're going to actually come up across, okay? So height is 6'8", you're fine, I promise you. And I'll tell you guys why I did what I did in a little bit. So for your close shot, you're going to put that up to a 50. Your driving layup, you're going to put that up to 70. And also driving layers are super OP in this game. So if you guys want to hire a driving layup, you can do so. But again, this is a popper type build. So you're pretty much going to be shooting the ball anyways. That's about it. But you'll be able to hit a layup if you need to. Now, if you're driving dunk, I put that up to an 80. And I know a lot of you guys want to go higher than that. You're a popper, you guys. You're not a slasher. This is all you need. I've seen some people go up to like an 84. I feel like that's way too much for me. But again, this is how I would play with this build, not you. So if you feel like you need more driving dunk, then put it on there. Just take some attributes from somewhere else. But I think this is perfect, okay? Now for your standing dunk, I just put it up to a 40 because I think I got it from some other attributes or whatever. And the post control is going to be a 30. So for shooting, put your mid range up to a 70. Three point shot, I put that up to a 79. And again, you guys might think you need a higher three ball. I'm telling you guys, you don't. You can shoot with as low as a 76 I've seen, but I wanted a 79 and I'll tell you guys why in a second. Free throw, I play rec. So on this particular build, it went up all the way to 83. It was just extra attributes. So that's what I went with. So for playmaking, pass accuracy, I put up to 75. Now I was messing around with it to see if I wanted to get it up to 76 to so get that relay passer on silver. It provides a boost to shooters that take a shot off a of pass assist, but we don't know how the badges work yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it down to 75 and so we can figure out how, you know, it works, okay? Got the 40 ball handle there from the pass accuracy and the speed ball is up to 30 from another attribute category. So that's for your playmaking. Now for defense is where this build shines. So for interior D, you wanna put it up to an 82. For your perimeter D, a 87. Still, I put up to a, a 91. Block, a 92. Offensive rebound, 85. And your defensive rebound, a 93. Now for your physicals, I put the speed all the way up, I believe it's an 80. Acceleration max that out as well. Actually, I put it up to 70, not a 71. Strength, I put it up to a 90. I'm gonna tell you guys why in a minute. Vertical, I put it up to 82. And for my stamina, I just I think I maxed it out to 99, I think. Or 98, excuse me. So this is the build, y'all. So let me go through and tell you guys why I did what I did. So for finishing, I don't really care that much, but you do get you know post ride slithery, got the precision dunker on bronze, you get area wizard bunny on silver, spin cycle two step on gold. But again, we're not a finishing build, we're a popper. So most important is, you know, your shooting and your defense. So for shooting, you get silver blinders. That's why I went with the 79 three balls you guys see right there, because I want the silver blinders. If you don't care about that, then take that down. You will be fine. Okay. We get catch and shoot on silver as well. You got dead out on bronze. Um, you got corner specialist on silver, green machine on silver, space crate on silver, spot find on silver. Excuse me, which I believe will be a super good badge for spot ups. So yeah, Claymore Silver, Guard Up Silver, and Open Looks on Silver as well. So we have some good, decent shooting badges for this build. And then if you play Rag the Free Throw, you get this new badge called Free Points. And I actually get that on Silver because I put those extra attributes on there. So that's for that. But if you guys don't play Rag, don't worry about that. Now, if you pass accuracy, you do get Break Starter on Silver, you get Diamond on sil Silver, excuse me, and Special Delivery if you want to do that. But most people who play the rec as a big um you put that break starter on silver but again this is for the park you guys so again you can go on the rec with this you'll be fine if you go with people if you go in there with people that you play with don't go in there solo because i think you're going to be too small 
honestly. But you know, this beginning of the game, people are filling out the different heights. So you might be okay right now, but I'm pretty sure you might want to be a taller height if you go in the wreck solo. Now for defense, I put up to 82 to interior D because I wanted to post lockdown on silver. And plus interior defense is crucial in this game these days. I'm um, not gonna lie to you. Okay, so for Pernity, I did 87 for that gold challenger that you guys see right there. As well, for the steel, I did a 91 because I wanted the gold glove, but you also get interceptor and you get the right stick ripper as well. Now block, I went with 92 as you guys can see so we can get that anchor on gold. All right, so that was crucial for me. I wanted that anchor on gold. So that's why I went up to 92. For your offensive rebound, I just feel like an 85 is just good enough. Some people might go down to 80, but I think an 85 is perfect for, you know, this type of build. Now for defensive rebound, I went with the 93 because I wanted the box out beast on Hall of Fame. And that's why I did the 90 strength. As you guys can see, you need a 90 strength, you need a 93 offensive rebound or a 93 defensive rebound to get that on Hall of Fame. Now rebound chaser, you can't get it. You need a 99. And I wasn't sacrificing all of my attributes for that. I feel like a 93 in the park, especially, is just fine if you get what I'm saying. So that's why I did what I did. So you got Pogo Stick, Rebound Chaser, Box Out Beast. You know, you got the Post Playmaker right there if you want it. You got Chase that Artist on Gold with the main badges that I wanted. You know, you get the clamps right there, ankle braces, um, fast feet that's new on bronze. You got 94 feet, workhorse, off ball pass. So you get all of the good, great defensive badges on this game again it's gonna be really hard to get hall of fame badges you're gonna have to give up something this builder is very strict y'all believe them when they say this build is strict it is super strict y'all i'm not lying to y'all it took me forever to come up with this build for the physicals again i don't really like need a lot of these honestly because they go towards like your pass your ball handling your sweeper ball which i don't have so but that the main reason i went with the 90 strength again is so i can get that box out bees on hall of fame but you do get immovable enforcer. You get brick wall on gold if you want that. So if you're doing it, you know, again, you could pick and pop. You'll be able to have that brick wall on gold to help you out tremendously. So let me know down in the comments what y'all think about this build, y'all. Like, I love this build. I feel like it's an all-around build for the park, even for the wreck again, if you have people that you can play with. But I love this build. And so and so we get shades of Jaren Jackson, Evan Mobley. I don't know who the other guy is. But he do get the name a two-way three-point glass cleaner, which is so fire, y'all. Like, that's a fire name. So let me know down in the comments again what you guys think about this build. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys are enjoying 2K24. If you have it already, if you don't have it yet, then I hope you can get it. Uh, the game seems like it's super fun. Again, I have not played in the park yet, but I will eventually. But I thank you guys so much for watching. If you're still here and you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you are new. And turn on post notifications so you know when I post all these new bangers. And I'm out. Peace.